Now, we've all heard the, the phrase that perception is reality, right? But I don't think many of us have really grasped the full meaning of this. And what I want you guys to understand is that, no, fucking literally, perception is reality. Now, I'm not talking about you perceiving the world through these two eyes. We're going to get a little bit esoteric here, right? I'm talking about perceiving the world through your inner eye. The eye of God, right? Because it's from this eye, the eye that you use when you fall asleep at night and you go into the dream world. The eye that's all seeing, all feeling, all touching. It has the ability, even though you've closed these eyes to the outer world, it can still feel, see, smell, it can do everything, despite all your physical senses being cut off from this world. And if you understand that this is actually the eye that's responsible for your life, you're going to place more importance on what you allow that eye to see, feel, communicate. That eye is the eye or the brain, you could say, or it is essentially the substance to your divine being within you. It is the spirit of man. And when you learn to live life from this inner being within you, the divine man or woman within, you start to live through this being, through this inner eye. And you no longer enslave yourself to the physical senses of this world. That's where true freedom exists. That's where true liberation exists, right? Right? That is where you can free yourself to be more than what your circumstances are currently showing you. That is where you can be more than what your reality is currently showing you. Because your reality is only showing you, right, what it's showing you because of what's going on within here. So it's a reflection, guys. It's reflective in nature. It's reflecting your I am. And the I am is the eye of God, the inner eye. You know... So if you understand this, you're going to place more importance on what you allow to cultivate within the garden of your mind. Is your garden beautiful? Is it pruned nicely? Is it vibrant? Is it green? Is it beautiful? What is it? Prune it. Make it wonderful. And realize that this is the, this is the cause in your life. Right? Because what man does is he, man looks to outside things and he gives reasons to why things aren't the way they are because of this, because of that. But, but what you'll find is there's no consistency among these things. How many people have been on a diet that works for one person, doesn't work for another, eat this, eat that? There's no consistency amongst these things, guys, right? And the only thing that is consistent throughout the, you could say the, this reality is, is what's going on within here, right? And you, <laughs> unironically, this is the only thing you have power over. This is the only thing you have control over. You don't have control over anything else. You believe you may have control over everything else. I made a video recently talking about this scene in, in The Matrix. You know how Neo's with that boy and the boy says to Neo, there's no spoon because he's trying to bend the spoon with like, you know, and then the boy says to Neo, "There's only the only thing to bend is yourself, because that's the only thing you can bend. To 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 live in any other way is to fight against the very nature of things, and it's to miss the mark. It's to not understand how this world functions, how this reality functions. I am that I am, I am, I am, I am, right." Understand that when you say I am, you're calling upon you, you're, you're, you're attaching yourself to this being within. That is, that is its name. The inner man is I am. And it's from the inner man that everything in this reality comes from. Everything. This is a word of states. And these states are formed from what's happening with the I am. And whatever assumptions the I am is making about itself 
And you may say, well, yeah, but this is my reality right now. This is what's true in my reality right now. This is what I'm experiencing. Yes. But what was the cause? What was the cause for that? And what you'll find is if you go deep enough in your psyche, you'll realize that it's coming from your past assumptions, past things you thought to be true, past things you've realized to be true, past things that you've held to be true. But when you recognize that it's all an assumption, that is where you can grab true dominion over your life and recognize that you are the operant power. And this life is yours to control. Not because you're controlling the world with this fleshly man, but because you're controlling your own mind and you're controlling yourself. And as a result, you, because you have control over yourself, you have control in a sense of the world outside, as within, so without. Yeah? If you haven't already, make sure you grab a copy of my audiobook firstly. That's for you guys there. That's for nine ninety nine. Small investment for great knowledge there. Um, it's the least you can do. The second one is if you guys really want to get into the, the depth of this knowledge, get really take your life to the next level, elevate yourself, work with me personally. And that's through my manifesting mentorship that I have in my bio as well. Four weeks of work. We work together um, on a personal basis and we get into the gist of where you need help and how we can help you. Yeah? And um, that's all there. The link in my bio, guys. Yeah? Peace, power, prosperity. It's been your boy and love always.